how do you feel to be in Italy for the first time? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be here. I've, I've literally always wanted to come here, so it's going to be very fun. And uh, have you got some time to explore the city already? Or? A little bit. Mm -hmm. I had pasta bolognese for lunch. So nice. It was so good. And then I had some gelato, and then I spilled the gelato on myself. <laughs> um, and that's kind of been my time in Italy so far. <laughs> And let's talk about this, your uh, evolution tour, which you said it's your first proper one. Yeah. Um, how is like a typical day on tour? What do you normally do? Typical day on tour, I mean, uh, well, this, this time around, we've been in Europe, so we're on the bus and we, we get in probably in the afternoon. It's usually long drives. Yeah. Um, we get to the venue, we, we load in, we do sound check, we do meet and greets, and um, then we start the show. It moves pretty quickly mm -hmm. in, in the big picture, and then as soon as we're done, we're back on the bus to the next place. So it's constantly, constantly moving. Yeah, and how do you see the difference between like European crowds so far and American ones? They are so passionate and they're so loud. Um, I think that's it's it's been one of the most incredible touring experiences of my life, just because the energy that they give you just makes it that much of a better show. Yeah. Um, and they know all the words, and it's just like you you feel like this is the reason why you make music. They sing back to you. Yeah, so it's there's so much love in the room. Yeah, and what do you miss the most while you're away from home? What do I like, miss the most? I think I I think I miss like the normal food that I have like because I'm, I'm one of those people that like I'll have like sort of the same thing to eat every day from like my favorite restaurants yeah so like I haven't had those things and like oh I haven't had any Mexican food mm -hmm. since I've been at home well probably just the food but I've also experienced great food here so I'm not really yeah. complaining I haven't missed it I miss my puppy though I do miss my yeah puppy. and um, music has always played an important role in your life yeah. um, when did you realize that you actually wanted to be on a stage and you wanted to sing in front of thousands of people? Jeez, I think I was five years old. Because um, I, I started, the first stage I want to say that I was ever really on was my um, elementary school talent show. I would do it every year. And I just always felt like so excited to be there in front of all my friends and family and just so many people from my town. It just felt so special. So I think um, from that moment, like I think when you're a kid, you just dream the biggest dream possible. And so for that, all I saw was stadiums and so to be able to be on those stages now is, is just kind of a dream come true. And how was the songwriting process and the recording process for your second album, Evolution? It moved rather quickly and it was very, it was very organic. It was kind of seamless and I think when I, um, when I wrote the songs it wasn't really a question. It was sort of just like that's, that's what I was writing at that time in my life and that's where I was headed and going um, in that direction and I was just very excited for the fans to hear it. Yeah, what's your favorite song to perform on stage? Like, when you go on stage, you... I like the ones that I can act out and the ones that tell a story. Thumbs yeah. tells a great story and it's also very fun for the crowd. Um, feels Like Loneliness is a very fun one for me because it's very theatrical, it's a little sassy, so um, I like doing those songs. And what was the concept behind the video of Thumbs? Uh, the is... video of Thumbs, we wanted to be able to incorporate like every kind of person in one place where they're not really doing anything. And I think the thing about the subway and the thing about public transportation is we're all going somewhere. So we're all kind of like in that brief interim mm -hmm. period where we're not really sure what we're doing, but we're, we're getting somewhere, you know? And I wanted everyone to be able to, to, I wanted it to look as realistic as it could. And then I also wanted it to kind of just like captivate you from beginning to end. And I think that, I think hopefully we succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And which one is the most personal song, like the most emotional one? You go on stage and you sing it and you're like... Um, I'd say it's probably Run and Hide, um, which is a song that I wrote. It's like an acoustic guitar kind mm -hmm. of song and it's just, it's the lyrics to that song are very honest and truthful and um, I love singing that song. Um, you started playing Maya in yeah. uh, Your Meets World. Uh, nowadays many people look up to you, especially Aww. many girls. How does it feel to be a role model? They don't realize how short I am, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how do you feel to be a role model for these people? Do you feel like a sort of responsibility? Um, yeah. I think for me, I'm just doing the best I can to be the best person for myself every day. And the fact that you know people can find inspiration in that, or the fact that that, that young girls or girls my age or people older than me can, you know, maybe take inspiration and use it to, to benefit their lives is is all I. You know, could ever ask for it's it's very sweet, it's very humbling, and I'll just 
do my best to be the best version of myself that I can be. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> and you work with another Disney Channel star, which is Sophia Carson. Yeah. Which I adore oh, her. Oh my gosh. I adore the, the two of you. Yeah, thank the you. Thank I love you so it. Much. I sing every single song. She's my um, big sister. I love her so much. Uh, would you like to have a collaboration with her on maybe your next album? I, or? Well, the thing is, yeah, like the only song we've ever done together was for the movie, was Wild Side. Yeah, Wild Side. And um, I would love to like actually. Mm -hmm. actually do something with her um, where we yeah. could create something together. That yeah, because be she's making an album as well. Yeah, so. she's so talented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, can we ex what can you expect from the Italian crowd tonight? Or uh, tell me, you tell me what can I expect. Yeah. I don't know. We're very loud. You're yeah. loud? That's great. We're very loud. That's what yeah. I need, especially because it's the last show tonight. Yeah. So. And can you tell us a bit more about your future projects? Future projects? Yes. Well, obviously, I just announced my summer tour, which as of right now is only in the US, but we're working on broadening our horizons okay. and coming back. I'm already working on coming back, so um, I can't wait to see everyone when I get back. Um, but there's projects in the works. I can't say anything right now because it's all okay. it's all coming very soon, but I promise I'm working very hard. Okay, perfect. And we, we have a couple of questions from your fans. Nicole asks you, what's your biggest inspiration? Uh, my biggest inspiration? Probably you guys. I'd say everyone that comes to the shows and everyone that listens to my music, you guys are the reason why um, I want to keep making it. And then she says, we love you so much, you're such an inspiration to Thank us. Thank you. So nice. uh, did you like Europe in general? And oh. um, the fans as well? Yes, I love Europe. I can't wait to come back. I, I, I feel like uh, I belong here. Every single show, I kid you not, like it was a different level of loud and love and energy and I can't, I can't wait to do it again. Then Joe asks you if you're gonna come back to Italy. Yes. <laughs> and if, okay. if you'd like to do more than just one show maybe like coming to rome i would love or... to go to rome i mean I, I i wish i could have come to more on this tour but if you're in italy i hope i hope milan is good for you tonight then they say pizza or spaghetti oh <laughs> i don't know because i had spaghetti village but i haven't had pizza here oh no you, have you to. should i know i should you, you should have to you, you i can't just can't miss eating. the opportunity <laughs> um i would say i would say both i can't yeah. choose okay. and if you were a character from sherlock the show. <gasps> Who would you be? Sherlock. I would be Sherlock Holmes. I'd oh, have to because <laughs> I would. I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's any other character that I would feel satisfied enough because, like, I'm not really a Watson type. I love Watson, but I'm not mm -hmm. really a Watson type. I'm more of a Sherlock You're type. A Sherlock I'm type. not calling myself a genius, by the way. I'm just saying I think I, I overthink things and overanalyze <laughs> yeah, yeah, things like always. Sherlock. Um, what's been your favorite thing about Milan so far? My favorite thing about Milan so far? Yeah. Um, I think how beautiful and passionate the fans are, and I'm excited to meet everyone tonight. Okay. Uh, the gelato's good too. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Oh, one of the strangest things that has happened during one of your meet and greets. Strangest things that has happened during one of oh, that's Or the funniest. That's, that's a loaded question. Um, that's hard. Sometimes, I don't know if there's anything strange. I'd say it's more just like nice. Like okay. they'll start singing right. songs really loud all together yeah. in like big groups of people. And like, that's always really exciting because you're like, whoa, you know my lyrics. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. They were outside the, your fans yeah. and oh, we heard them singing. That's exactly what's going to happen like, tonight. That's exactly what is going to happen tonight. That's so. So cool. <laughs> yeah. And last question, Ellie. It's like a, can you say happy birthday to me? It's my 16th birthday today. Happy sweet 16, Ali, I love you so much. I hope you eat lots of cake. Ciao, <laughs> <laughs> Ginger Generation. It's Sabrina Carpenter. I love you so much. Ti voglio bene.